everyone. So we just spoke about, um, I just made a video on how to update values out of an existing document. And now let's talk about how to create a document from scratch. It's actually very simple. Um, you will declare the uh, document and then you're going to um, create a new XML document. New X document. And as you know, uh, an XML document is structured such that the first line is the declaration, and then you can have comments, um, and then you have the root, and then you have the, the children, right? Um, and so here it's pretty much the same way. You don't have, in the way that I'm going to, there's not one way of building an XML document. I'm just going to show you a very simple and straightforward way of doing it. So declare a new XML document. And then inside the XML document, we're going to create a new X element. And this first X element that we're going to create, that's going to be our root. So um, this document is going to hold contacts. So I'm just going to call it the root contacts. And inside my contacts, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have uh, people, right? So then, uh, I'm going to create a new X element here. And this X element is going to be called a person. Okay. And now a person has properties. So now let's go ahead and start adding those properties. So I'm going to say new X element. And then this one is going to be, let's say, let's say a contact ID. Let's just call it ID. And then I'm going to assign a value to one. And now I'm just going to copy and paste here and create the next item. So let's say first name. Let's say Fabio. And then say last name. Scapel. And then H. 33. Okay. So now I have created a person that is inside a context and then that context inside of a document. Now I have to close my parentheses, right? So this parenthesis, if you can see, closes this X element. The next one goes all the way to the person. The next one goes all the way to the root. And then the next one goes all the way to the X document. At this point, I can just put a semicolon. And now I have my document ready. Let's go ahead and take a look to see how this looks. I'm going to press F11 here. And now if I look at the doc and I look into the text visualizer, you can see that it, it, put, it put all the closing brackets for us. So I declared the contact, but it automatically put the closing bracket for us, bracket for us there. Um, a person, person, and then you have the properties ID, first name, last name, and age, as I declared in there. Um, the next step, it's a pretty simple one, which is simply saving that file, that sa saving that file to disk. And when you save, the declaration is actually going to show up in there. So say doc.save, and I'm going to call this document contacts.xml. Um, you can also have some uh, um, saving options in here, um, or none. So, but let, let's talk about the saving options real quick. So saving options got none, dot none. I'm just going to put none at this point. Um, I'm going to start, create a document, step over this. And now I'm going to open our project here, open File Explorer. And this is running out of the debug folder. So since I didn't specify any other uh, file system location, it's just going to uh, dump, it's going to create the file in the same location as the executable. So at this, at this time, it's running, the executable is running here. So context gets created right next to it. And uh, click uh, Edit for you to see. And here's our XML document. I have only one person inside my contacts, which is not much of a contact uh, XML file, but you can see that the, uh, the declaration was put there automatically. And notice, and notice the format. It's the nice format. It's human readable. It's pretty easy. And then the size of this right now, it's uh, 179 bytes. Okay. So I'm going to delete the file. Well, I don't have to. I'll just leave it there for now. And I'm just going to minimize this. I'll close it. And Let's do this now. Let's uh, just so you can see the difference. I'm going to call this none, and I'm going to save the other file with the same information. 
And but this one, I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm going to use the disable formatting and call this file disable. Okay. Uh, no breaking points. Just going to click. It's going to run through really quick. It flashed. It flashed here on the other side of my screen. Uh, I'm going to open that folder again, and now we should see two files in there. The one is the contacts none and the contacts disable. The difference between the two is that the none, um, what's the size in here? 179 bytes, and then the disable, can, can I get the size? 143 bytes. And the difference is that the none preserves the white spaces, so the indentation between the root and the first, the first child, and then the properties or children of, of, of this parent. And then when you look at the contacts disable, you see that it's just a single line. The whole thing, it, this, is, this is still a valid XML, it's still a valid XML file. The difference is that you removed all the, the, the white spaces, so then if you're going to transport the file uh, to another location, it's even smaller. But uh, let's look at how to um, let's look at how to add some additional uh, values in here. First thing I'm going to do is remove all of this brackets. I'm going to leave the closing one. And so, if you want to add more more people to this XML file, I mean it's kind of you know copy and paste uh, day here, and then. Now on the last one, that's when you're going to close uh, the parenthesis. So close, close, and then now I can create more values in here. This is not ideal, you know, no one will be doing this by hand, but I just want to show you how you're able to do this. And maybe in one of your projects, uh, you will have to do something similar to it. Uh, and let's change the age here, set 35 say 24 and let's run this one more time okay it just flashed on the other screen here again I'm going to open contacts and you can see that all of our data is there um, all my contacts in are in here okay so this is a very simple way to create an XML file hard coding the values hard coding the text now this is not ideal what is ideal is uh, when you have a collection of objects and then you can explode that collection into an XML file. And that's what we're doing on the next video because that's more real world, um, uh, that's more of a real world, world scenario that you find. Okay, so stay tuned, watch the next video, subscribe and please like the video. Okay, see you soon, bye.